Epilogue. Back at the Shield's helicarrier, Bruce Banner watched as Loki was locked up in a huge glass cage. This wasn't meant for me, you know, Loki taunted Bruce through the video surveillance. It was constructed for someone angrier and greener. Bruce sensed his heart rate increasing as Loki antagonized him. He breathed deeply to settle down. Loki hissed at Colonel Fury. He wouldn't be held so easily. But Fury argued that, that point. The Colonel showed that, that there was no way out on any of the cell's sides. He flipped a switch and the floor slid open, revealing a glass enclosure over a 30,000 foot drop. If Loki tried to escape, the doors of the glass floor would part and Loki would plunge to earth. Agent Coulson radioed in that the Tesseract, Agent Barton, and Dr. Selvig had been located. The two men had been brainwashed by Loki. With Loki defeated, the effects of his hypnosis were wearing off, and the Tesseract was on its way back to S.H.I.E.L.D.'s carrier. Loki was, Loki was trapped and the world was safe, at least for the moment. Thor stood aboard the helicarrier, waiting to return his brother to Asgard to face Odin's strong arm of justice. Bruce, Steve, Natasha, and Tony East... Each looked at one another and then over at Thor. None of them could have captured Loki alone. It was only together, despite their rocky start, that they were able to prevent certain disaster. This was the first, but showing not the final time that the great superheroes of the world had come together and assembled into a team. It was the start of something incredible, invincible, and mighty. It was the beginning of an initiative that Nick Fury had tried to assemble for years, despite facing obstacles every step of the way. But with the fate of the world, perhaps the universe hanging in balance, hanging in the balance, Earth's mightiest heroes had come together to, to protect, to serve, to defend, and, and to avenge. And as Colonel Fury watched Loki contemplate his cell and Thor ready his brother for a trip back to Asgard, he, he realized that if the world ever again needed them, they would band together again. Whenever duty called, the Avengers would answer. For now and forever, fighting for the greatest good and never relenting till the battle was won.